Oh, don't mind me. I'm just here to sweep up the competition, girl. I am Monet Exchange, and you better get your currency in check, bitch. Oh my <laughs> God, what the <laughs> f***? Don't leave it. Oh my God, he's yeah. so Monet is a very fun and effervescent personality, charming. Any, any single men out there are very charming. What kind of drag do you do? Are I'm you? eclectic, I'm eccentric. And, versatile? Um, versatile. Good. I like that. Mm. <laughs> Eureka, you're not versatile. <laughs> Monet Exchange. Ooh, Monet changes everything. Yes, Monet. Monet Exchange, she looks like a million bucks. Her body looks great. She's giving you high energy. She is turning it. Yes. I am channeling my inner Paris is burning. I'm just gonna feel my oats and I dip like three times in a row. Boom. 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 <laughs> Monet Exchange is not here to play. Now on the runway, y'all snatched our attention, but one of you scored a perfect 10. Monet Exchange, you're the winner. Mini challenge. Yes, bitch, I won the first mini challenge of season 10. I'm here to let these girls know, don't f with New York City. Yeah, we won last season and we gonna win again. <laughs> now, ladies, to kick off a new decade of drag, we're going back to our roots. As in, back to the very first challenge from the very first episode of RuPaul's Drag Race. We call it Drag on a Dime. I think I've reneged on the Barbie dolls. If anyone wants the Barbie dolls. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Because I don't think I'm going to have enough for the flowers. My first idea is to do this doll constructed thing, but I realize that there aren't enough to cover my big ass body. And I know that I can create this really like Gaga, Couture esque look with sponges. Is that going to be Couture or Couture? Monet Exchange. Clean up on season 10. <laughs> My look is very conceptual, and there's like a whole story with the dirt in my eyes, and I have ping pong balls to make little soap suds, and I have blue earrings to signify the water. I'm literally cleaning the floor with my garment as I'm walking down the runway, and it's fierce. Oh, God, she's so self-absorbent. Yeah. No. That is brilliant. <laughs> Where are you from, Monet? I'm an Irish girl. Oh, what part of Ireland? Northern Ireland. <laughs> Can you dance an Irish jig? Oh, I'll show you, yeah. It's oh, an Irish jig, girl. You gotta jig it. <laughs> Sing something Irish to the chocolate. Erin go bra, Erin go bra, Erin go bra. Hey, Kit Kat. Hey. Three of you really made me snicker. Blair St. Clair, yeah. Monique Hart, yeah. and Monet Exchange. Yeah. Monet, I am sorry, my dear, but you are up for elimination. I feel like my entire dry career is like flashing before my eyes. I'm gonna have to lip sync for my life against my New York City sister. But I want them to know that I'm this fierce drag queen and I want to be here. Two queens stand before me. Ladies, this is your last chance to impress me and save yourself from elimination. The time has come for you to lip sync for your life. Good luck and don't it up. Show these girls that I own them. Some call me Nikki, and some call me Roman. Skeezer, please, I'm in a Visa. Just happy to not be my own sneaker. Sexy, sexy, that's all I do. If you need a bad bitch, let me call up yo. I'm soin' in them little mini skirts as hell. I see some good girls, I'ma turn them out. Okay, bado, sip, bado, guzzo. I'm a bad bitch, no muzzle. Hey, bado, sip, bado, guzzo. I'm a bad bitch, no muzzle. Let's go.
For the ladies watching from the back, that is what we call a lip sync for your life. Yes! Now, I've made my decision. Monet Exchange, Shantae, you stay. You may join the other girls. Thank you. Monet. Mayhem, I'm sorry, my dears, but you are up for elimination. For me to be in the bottom two a second week in a row, it is so disheartening. It feels like Rue has wasted a ticket here to RuPaul's Drag Race, and I should not be here. Two queens stand before me. Prior to tonight, you are asked to prepare a lip sync performance of Man, I Feel Like a Woman by Shania Twain. Ladies, this is your last chance to impress me and save yourself from elimination. The time has come. Read to lip sync for your life. Good luck. And don't it up. Let's go, girls. Come on. Ladies, I've made my decision. Monet Exchange, Shantae, you stay. Thank you. You may join the other girls. Welcome to Snatch Game. All right, moving right along, author, actress, and a national treasure, Maya Angelou. Hello, RuPaul. Do you know why the cage bird sings? Oh, I've always wanted to know. Why does the cage bird sing? Because Mariah Carey lost the key. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the shade coming from this Maya Angelou this evening. All right, now, here we go. Kate, did you hear about the new smartphone for drag queens? Instead of face recognition, it recognizes your blank. It looks like Beyonce's writing. This is the first time Beyonce's ever written for herself. Oh, watch it, Toots. All right, Kate Upton. Charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. Oh, that's a great answer. Let's see if you matched any of the stars. 
Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou, new smart. Are you, are she, are you asleep? No, sorry, I was resting my eyes. I see, <laughs> okay. Did you hear about the new smartphone for drag queens? Instead of face recognition, it recognizes your... Well, RuPaul, I've written 17 books, 19 plays, 13 autobiographies, and two Hallmark cards. <laughs> and it recognizes your phenomenal woman. Your phenomenal yes. woman, almost. All right, this next one's for Audra McDonald. Martha Stewart is a really bad influence on Snoop Dogg. Now, when he makes brownies, he puts blank in them. He puts parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme. Scarborough Fair, it's a really good song. Sounds like some awful brownie. Yes. All right, let's move on down to Maya Angelou. Well, RuPaul, before I answer the question, these women seem very hostile, and I wrote a soliloquy to inform them. Oh, I'd love to hear it. We have nothing but time here. <laughs> if these hoes try to come for me, <laughs> I surely will cut thee. I will not hesitate to put thou in a ditch because Maya Angelou ain't no punk bitch. <laughs> oh, it rhymes, it rhymes. Uh, all right, but did you write an answer to this? I would put my underwire in a brownie because I don't have any support here. <laughs> oh, underwire. Unfortunately, Audra, it's, it's not a match. It's still not a match, but it's good. Monet Exchange. Battlestar Gil Lactic. <laughs> Tuna Turner. <laughs> I'm giving you a beat up, tattered warrior mermaid, because I'm here to fight these bitches to the top. Monet is a strong, powerful warrior mermaid fish. You want to talk about the deadliest snatch? <laughs> <laughs> Stop polluting our oceans. <laughs> Monet exchange. Hello, Moni, Moni, Moni. <laughs> Is that your lace front? This was actually the very first, like, before I even started drag, and I went to the store in Soho, and I found this wig, and I've never parted ways with it. But have you worn it in this competition Oh, no, yet? no, no, never here. Never that here. is a mistake. I know you love them pussycat wigs, <laughs> but bitch, you know what? You need to wear some big ass hair because you got that big, fat, juicy ass. Yeah. Six girls are Six left girls. in this competition, down to the wire. Yes. How are you going to make it to the finish line? Well, I'm going to slay this acting challenge today. I feel like I've been on a steady upward climb in the past couple You have couple challenges, though. I know, What's right? wrong with that? You know, I think it's just, I mean, I'm doing well in the maxi challenges, but it's uh, following through on the runway and really giving y'all something to gag over. You know, they say you have lots of breaks that happen in your life. You just have to be prepared for them. Yes. This is yours to go and get. Amen. Make Ru. sure you get this. Yes, I will. I swear I am. I will, Rue. I'll see you out there. Thank you, thank you. Monet, you were in Portland for a while, right? I sure was. You remember that drag queen that was like 96? Darcel. Yes, ma'am. Yes, she is the oldest drag queen I know. I think she's the oldest drag queen in America. Right? Besides Shaquita. It was so cool to go watch the show, because you see she's like up there in her heels. Telling the jokes that are exactly her age. <laughs> I, just, I just flew in from Portland, and boy, my arm is tired. <laughs> You know, I see myself doing drag forever, girl. I'm gonna be Miss Darcel one day, just me, but I ain't wearing no heels, so I'll be in some good times and a little kitten wig, RuPaul. Monet Exchange. Oh, girl, you better sissy that walker. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whoa! I feel like when I age, I'm gonna be a mess. I do not take care of myself. I don't have health insurance, but I'm still gonna keep on having fun with drag. So instead of having the ivy drip, I have little bags of liquor on there. I'm playing a hacky sack with my titties, and I'm having a good old time with this look. She's gonna be on this month's cover of Elle, Dear Care. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? Randy. Are you Randy? I am Randy the Woodchuck. <laughs> all tea, all trade. Yeah, you got a little twist in your hip there. No. Can you take that out? All T, all tray. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving it a little twist at the end that's oh. kind of like, Oh, hey. no. Oh, oh, <laughs> God, slap you know? that out of there. Yeah, yeah, get that out of there. <laughs> all T, all tray. Can you put one hand on between me down there? Down here? Well, yeah. it's, it's, it's real long going to get all up. Right. <laughs> I think you could be America's next chop model. You know, they say that social media is taking over the world. But this week, RuPaul's Drag Race is going to take over the whole internet. Say hello to some of today's hottest social media stars. Oh Tyler Oakley. Oh 
I'm so happy that you're here. Thank I'm you. Happy that I get to make you over into a fabulous drag queen. I am. I, like this is legitimate bucket list. <laughs> I'm like really happy that I get Tyler Oakley. He's very like free spirited. He is like down for anything. So I need to know, have you ever done drag before? I have never performed, but okay. I've gotten like my face done. Have you ever walked in heels? <laughs> <laughs> So you know my name is Monet Exchange. You're Tyler Oakley, you're short. What do you think of, this is just, I'm just throwing it, I just thought about it, short change. Short change. <laughs> I love it, I love okay. it, I love it. I am the only exchange that exists in the world. My twos have been tied up until this point. So he should feel very lucky and privileged that he's part of the House of Exchange, darling. I love it. Do you? Yes. <laughs> I want to see this walk. Let me see what. Let no, me see what you can't make up. me do that. Oh, no. Oh, we are taking you all the way out of your comfort okay. zone. Tyler has never really worn heels before, and um, he is trying his best. I believe in you, short change. Okay, okay. Yeah, oh, careful. You are walking out Fifth Avenue. I think, actually, hello. Oh, my kind of. short change. For the most part, he has it. Somewhat together. You're gliding. Oh. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Any guy who starts walking in heels for the first time, they always do like the fierce phase. They have to do like the. And you try to do that in the heels, and I'm like, no, girl, do not do all that. Being sexy in a runway and having fun is what's really gonna give the essence of the exchange family secret. You know, you've come under fire about your aesthetic. That's why we got some big hair today. We're going we to get some big hair okay. up in this gig, Rue. Yo, yo, no pussycat wigs. No pussycat wigs. Uh-uh, <laughs> you say that for Sunday, Sunday service. <laughs> what is with Rue and my pussycat wigs? I don't get it. He going to gag when I come up with my own line of sponge pussycat wigs. Available on iTunes. All right, I'll see you out there. Well, thank, thank you, you Rue. Short chat. Short chat. <laughs> Up next, Monet Exchange and Shout Change. Okay. Ooh. Break it up, break it up. That's right, dollar bills, y'all. I always forget, which one's Tia, which one's Tamara? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big hair don't care, girl. It is a Friday night, we just got paid. We don't even go home and shower. I'm taking her out, it's Miss Short Change. It's the 21st birthday. We both got our glasses on, because we gotta see the ugly dudes at the club. And she's so excited. Yeah, Short Change is living her life, girl. She is feeling it. And at the end of the day, it is all that matters, period. They they got their reading glasses on. <laughs> Time to go back to the library. <laughs> <laughs> Monet exchange and show change. <laughs> show change, you look thick as f Thank you. <laughs> Down with the thickness. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to take this moment to tell you, Monet, how stunningly beautiful you look tonight. Why would you ever go back <laughs> to your pussycat wig? <laughs> pussycat wig, Jesus Christ. And I really enjoyed seeing Tyler because he, he was having a good time. I had the most fun. But doesn't mean the job that you were supposed to do was done because there is no family resemblance apart from a pair of glasses. I felt like you were taking like your coworker who never gets out and you dressed her up <laughs> and you were like, Come on, Stacy. We need to go out to a local gay bar, go see a drag show. I was thinking, like, you just met working the same car show, and you were like, oh my god, we both look great in the uniform. Let's go spend some of our money. Her makeup's not the best either, Monet. Like, her brows are a little crazy from here. I feel beautiful. I'm glad you do, darling. God bless. <laughs> but I mean, zero family resemblance. Monet. I'm sorry, my dear, but you are up for elimination. I feel so, so bad that I am here for the third time. But I am not a give up gal. I am a fierce performer and a fierce entertainer, and I'm not giving up. Two queens stand before me. Prior to tonight, you were asked to prepare a lip sync performance of Good As Hell by Lizzo. Ladies, this is your last chance to impress me and save yourself from elimination. The time has come for you to lip sync for your life. Performing is my passion. This is my time to shine and do what I do best. Good luck and don't it up. I do my head toss, check my nails, baby, how you feeling? Head toss, check my nails, baby, how you feeling? Simple. 
Ladies, I've made my decision. Oh my God. Cameron Michaels, Shantae you stay. Thank you. Monet Exchange. Freaky money don't make no money. But Monet money show do. Now. Sashay away. Thank you. Cha-ching, mother <laughs> Cha-ching. <laughs> I love you, Monet. Today was just not my day. And even though I'm leaving, my story's not done. And we're only on chapter three, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, this is much. This much is hard. My little drag daughter. <laughs> the only one I've been, I've been bearing ever since. It's, it's the Immaculate Conception girl. Fertile for a half a second. <laughs> That's life. The winner of Mrs. Duniani is... Is there anything you'd like to say? Soak it up, bitches! <laughs> <laughs> Guess who's black in the house, bitch? Yeah! I am Money Exchange of season 10, your current reigning Fist Congeniality. I am here to slay, and until I smash that crown, a bitch brought her own. Monet Exchange. Monet is on a roll. Maya Angelou ain't no punk bitch. <laughs> In season 10, I thought I was going all the way. The looks seem homemade, really sloppy. If I could go back in time, one thing that I would change for my season would be my rickety crickety runways, girl, so I could have some challenge wins. I want a challenge win. Yes. Ooh, RuPaul, but I'm Miss Congeniality. I could never. Here we go, bitch. <laughs> Trinity the Tuck. You've had so much plastic in you. You won't be buried in a coffin. You'll probably be buried in a recycling bin. <laughs> Manila Luzon. Emphasis on lose. Oh. Twice. <laughs> Welcome back to RuPaul's Drag Race All-Star Spangled Variety Show. Soak her up. It's Monet Exchange. People hiding under covers Without knowing what you're all about But when they try to take you 
And she'll read that ass from one to ten. You're tired, you're fired, expired. If you text me, you're blocked, sired. For a foolproof recipe to rise above, it's real simple self love. Everybody say love. Monet Exchange. She is serving Cheryl Lee Ralph Eleganza. <laughs> I've got this horrible knot in my right shoulder. Oh, no. <laughs> I feel royal, I feel elegant, and I feel like I'm giving the judges fashion, girl. And I smell good, too. I don't bring my dress to the red carpet. I bring the red carpet on my dress. <laughs> <laughs> you just wear it. She's from the hood. The Lil Red Riding Hood. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, Monet Exchange. Tonight, you were my favorite performer of all. You're actually a really good rapper. Thank you. You were in the moment. You were grounded. I really enjoyed the performance, too. It was another memorable moment for me for tonight as well. But now let's talk about this runway look. I love it. I want to see Tara, girl! <laughs> this is a look that you never would have served us on season 10. And look at you now. It's a joy to watch you really hone your skill. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. I think we've heard enough. And I've made some decisions. Money exchange. Valentina. Congratulations, you are the top two all-stars of the week. Welcome back, ladies. Two top all-stars stand before me. Prior to tonight, you were asked to prepare a lip-sync performance of Into You by Ariana Grande. Ladies, this is your chance to impress me, win $10,000, and earn the power to give one of the bottom queens the chop. The time has come for you to lip-sync for your legacy. Good luck, and don't f it up. These bitches are turning it out, girl.
Oh, I just hope Lady Bunny's in a better place. Trust me, she is. I've seen her apartment. Friends and loved ones, to pay tribute to the Lady Bunny, please welcome Monet Exchange. <laughs> <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to celebrate the life, liberty, and illiteracy of our dear friend, Lady Bunny. <laughs> Many know her as Lady Bunny, but I like to go by her original drag name, Methuselah. <laughs> or as they know her down at the clinic, Patient Zero. <laughs> she was often called the Beyonce of drag, not because she was rich and beautiful or famous, but because she looked like she was carrying twins. <laughs> Look at that big bloated bitch in that box. <laughs> Have you ever seen her out of drag? Anybody? Category is Ben Franklin f the Michelin Man. Amen. <laughs> you know, this reminds me of a story when we all went on tour. Bunny expressed that she wanted to eat a little Mexican. <sighs> Poor little Valentina didn't stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Category is Angelic White. First up, Monet Exchange. Someone's got to tell her. She's got toilet paper in her shoe. <laughs> I am bringing my own runway to the runway. This little train, <laughs> whatever, bitch. Oh. oh. I'm so holy, bitch, that I am stigmated the house down boots. I feel like I'm giving you Saint Exchange. Another bleeding heart liberal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Forgive me, Father, for I have stunned. <laughs> Say three Hail Marys and call me in the morning. <laughs> Welcome, ladies. It's time for the judges' critiques. Starting with Monet Exchange. When you came out, the first thing I wrote was fierce, and then I wrote fearless. And that's what I got from the whole time that you were speaking about Lady Bunny. Girl, you were funny. Thank you. It was a joy to watch you because you had the audience in the palm of your hand because you came out strong and every single time you delivered. You had so many jokes, just in terms of hard jokes, you had the most tonight. And I thought you were not just reciting them, you were still staying present to bounce off what was happening in the moment. Just so many good jokes. Thank I'm you. I'm jealous. Sometimes when it comes to the main stage, I worry about Monet exchange, <laughs> not gonna lie. Tonight you have elevated your look. This is a beautiful interpretation of angelic white. The beadwork is extraordinary. It fits your body, the headpiece, the inclusion of hair. You almost rented your own runway back there, the train. <laughs> it was just all really beautiful. Thank you. I'm proud of you, Monet. Thank you, Michelle. Keep it up, don't let me down. I will not. Based on your performances in the roast and on the runway, I've made some decisions. Manila Luzon. Monet Exchange, congratulations. You are the top two all-stars of the week. You'll be making over your best Judy's. <gasps> what? My oh, heart just sank, baby. <laughs> and here they are. Monet's best Judy, Hattie. Everybody's so hairy. <laughs> Wait, but did you miss me, actually? I really did. Uh, girl, I see you every day. I, like, literally have just been, like, sitting at home doing nothing. <laughs> oh, my. No, I, seriously, I'm You're like, I'm thing. I've watched everything I can possibly watch on Netflix. <laughs> I love Patty. Patty's not just one of my best friends. He's also my assistant. Patty knows some secrets, girl, that we don't tell nobody, OK? So boom, so take her and her. Let me get the other ones. This makeover challenge is scary. I'll be lying if I told you that I was excited, that I, that I knew I was going to turn to party, because I don't. The fact of the matter is, this challenge sent me home last time. Last season, girl, you know, this was, this was my downfall. There is no family resemblance apart from a pair of glasses. So if I don't do well, it's your fault. <laughs> Girl, 
Me and Patty are just so vastly different. I'm 5'11", she's 5'4". I'm black as hell, she white as hell. There is nothing that Patty and I have that resemble each other. We both might be gay. That's about it. I'm like nervous though. I can't f this up. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know. Hi, Monet. Hi, Patty. Hi. Hi. What's Patty short for? Patrick? Yes. <laughs> Top of the morning to you, Patrick. <laughs> How'd y'all meet again? Bob the Drag Queen introduced us. And when you launched my star in RuPaul's Drag Race, um, Patty has been traveling with me around the world and around the country. Oh, really? Yeah. So this is a makeover challenge. Bitch, you know. Gru. Oh, girl, you know, <laughs> it was a makeover challenge that sent your black ass home last time. <laughs> PTSD, girl. <laughs> what are you going to do to make sure that you are not holding that tweeter head maquette at the end of this challenge? I really want to make sure that we look like family and like yeah. sell that fantasy that we were birthed from the same vagina. We are getting a razor. We are shaving them brows off. You can grow you them can back. You can shave the brows Absolutely. off? Absolutely. You know, I came in like really willing to do whatever. We are yeah, dedicated yeah. to the cause, bro. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you shave yours I off. I sure do. Yeah, <laughs> shave that <laughs> off. It grows back. I'm going to be single a little bit longer. That's <laughs> right, right. All right. Well, listen, I can't wait to see y'all out there. Thank and you, Rue. Do it for Judy. Amen. All right. See you later. <laughs> Thank you, Rue. We're losing eyebrows today. You're going to do are it? Are you really going to yeah. shave them off? Yes. Yeah. Do y'all remember Powder, the movie of the little white boy with no... Do y'all remember? Go Google it. Shave yeah, the face. Go. Just say. Can't we get rid of my mustache first? <laughs> All right, here we go. Turn so this way. Let if it... you cut me, bitch, I'm not I gonna swear cut you. to I'm God. I'm not going to cut I you. I swear to God. I promise I will. Oh, my God. I'm so gagged. You look so cute. I'm going to look like an alien. I have always hated Patty's mustache, so it is a pleasure to whack it off. You look like yeah. 70 years old. <laughs> was in a rainbow. A happy bluebird's fly. We'll be singing swan into the clouds. <laughs> Monique Exchange and Patty Cash. Monet, you look like the mother of a solid gold dancer. <laughs> Stay golden, kitty girl. Well, I know who wears the pants in this family. Yeah. <laughs> we are serving New York City's finest. She's giving you a little Dita Von Teese. I'm giving you a little black chocolate Judy Garland, honey. We look good. I feel like we look expensive. And we both have the exchange family secret, a big old booty. There's gold in them there, cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, Monet Exchange and Patty Cash. Cha-ching. <laughs> Monet, you've never looked more gorgeous. I just thought this was really a great winning, twinning look. Thank you. Let's get to your performance. It, it was so brilliant. Oh, I was like, oh, God. You had the aura, the essence, the steps, the faces, the little Judaisms. They were all there. I had chills. I don't get chills. Maybe it's menopause. Maybe. <laughs> I really loved it. I enjoyed every moment watching you guys. I soaked it all in. <laughs> Michelle, you see? No more sponges. Francis, don't encourage. <laughs> Monet Exchange. Naomi Smalls. Congratulations, you are the top two all-stars of the week. <laughs> I think I want to talk about, like, having superpowers, but also tying it into the game, too, you know what I mean? Which is really fierce. Right. What? <laughs> I think that these queens should be worried, you know what? I can dance, I can sing, and I'm a good lyricist, girl. I have a song on iTunes that has over a million hits, girl. I'm a superstar queen. How do you feel? I just want this dude. Like, I want to be top two. Girl. I would love it if it was us two. If I would live. I feel like for one of us to win, it would be like, you didn't see us coming. You know what I mean? And we showed the fuck out. Monique and I have been so underestimated this entire season because we're so fresh from season 10. But we were able to come back in and do this immediately and really slay this competition. This is so crazy. Hi, Renee. Hello, Ruin the Monet. show. Oh, bitch. Full circle moment, honey. My season, I didn't get to do a podcast with Ruth, So I am excited. I'm elated. Girl, 
<laughs> What's the tea, bitch? The sponge has landed. <laughs> I did it just for Michelle. Hope you mop up the competition. <laughs> <laughs> You know, this is your first time at the podcast. It is, Ru. Because you didn't make it this far last time. I did not, and I feel a lot of shame. Season 10, I left with my tail between my legs, you know. You, you didn't need to do you that, though. You did a that. good job. You were loved. You were Miss yeah. Congeniality. I, I think the shame for me came with New York City has always exemplified, like, perfectionists in, in this competition. Bianca, Bob, Sasha, girls who really, like, just personify, like, that fierce New York grit, but also, like, just talent out the wazoo. And you know, towards the end of my season, I was really turning out challenges, but on the runway, just letting myself and y'all down a lot. So coming back to All Stars, I was like, I want to show Rue and Michelle that I can wear nice clothes. So that was like my main goal, but also really do well in the challenges as well. So the expectation that I had for myself was to really like go above and beyond what I did on my season, you know? Just knowing that you guys are seeing that Monet is that bitch. Now beyond this competition, what do you see Monet Exchange doing? What's on the horizon? After this, I go to Australia, and then um, I'm traveling my one-woman show. Call Me By Monet. Call Me By Monet? Yeah, Call Me By Monet. I love that. <laughs> That's brilliant. Is there a peach in your one-woman yeah. show? Oh, you know I had to do oh, it. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Get your tickets. I'm, I'm gonna give y'all complimentary. Y'all gonna come? Drink tickets <laughs> included? Yeah. Only for y'all. Uh -huh. Nobody else. Uh -huh. sure. <laughs> well, Monet, you are a fabulous queen. I'm so glad you got to come back and show the world what you were made of. And you did just that. Thank you, Rue. She's a bad bitch, yeah. When they don't know what's up, prepare to soak it up. It's clear she's here and she's a savage. Mm -hmm. She popping, she dipping, she spinning. Rock star, she dropping, she flipping, she winning. So is All-Star Eleganza. First up, Monet Exchange. Now starring in the color purple. Laferne and Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> Leave her alone. For this All-Star Eleganza, I wanted to give black opulence and show how gorgeous African silks can be with the stoning and the beading work and with this beautiful dreadlock updo. I feel really strong, really powerful, and I feel like a can win a girl. I'm quite fond of this. <laughs> <laughs> Wakanda forever. Final question. Why should you be inducted into the Drag Race Hall of Fame? Monet. RuPaul's Drag Race was one of the first shows that I found on television that I saw myself. To be in this moment in front of y'all on this stage, I know that some kid is sneaking into his mother's room when she's not home and watching the show and seeing themselves in me and discovering that they have that person inside of them. I do believe that everything does happen for a reason. I don't know who, if it's a god, if it's a, a, a sea slug, whoever it is, I do <laughs> feel like I'm supposed to be here at this time and show you guys that I do listen and I do take in what you are telling me to, to perfect my drag and to take it to the next level. And I'm just fucking grateful. Great. <laughs> yeah. Monet, Trinity, there's only one thing standing between you and the Drag Race Hall of Fame. Two top all stars stand before me. Ladies, this is your last chance to impress me and to prove to the world. You belong in the Drag Race Hall of Fame. The time has come for you to lip sync for 
your legacy! I am super close to winning this whole competition, girl. It's just a lip sync stands between me and a crown, a scepter, and a hundred thousand dollars. I can taste the crown, and I want it. Good luck. And don't. it up. <laughs> After all you put me through, you think I despise you. But in the end, I want to thank you, because you made me that much stronger. When I thought I knew you, thinking that you were true, I guess I, I couldn't trust. Caught your blood, Tommy, so cause I've had enough. So I want to say thank you, because it makes me that much stronger. Makes me work a little bit harder. Makes me that much wiser. Thanks for making me wider. How could this man, I thought I know, turn out to be unjust so cool? Ladies, I've made my decision. But first, from the Drag Race Hall of Fame, please welcome Chad Michaels, Alaska, and Trixie Mattel. The winner of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars will win a crown and scepter from Fierce Drag Jewels and $100,000. The time has come to crown our queen. Monet Exchange. Trinity the Tuck. The next all-star to be inducted into the Drag Race Hall of Fame is... For the first time in all-stars history. You are both winners, baby. We have a tie. Winner, winner, two chicken dinners. Yeah. You each win $100,000. Oh <laughs> the world is watching, Monet. What do you have to say? This is further proof that long live the sponge, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now France, queen. France, I said. <laughs> to everyone who has underestimated the power of Monet Exchange, this is the booyah moment, girl. This is when you are eating your words and you are realizing that Monet Exchange is a fierce queen. This feels so good. It feels right. And bitch, I got $100,000. My exchange rate is about to skyrocket, girl. You want everything RuPaul's Drag Race at your fingertips? Then head over to YouTube now and subscribe to the RuPaul's Drag Race channel. And you will get all the episodes of everything you ever want, including brand new episodes of Whatcha Packin'. Hi.